Hey friends, welcome to another vlog. Guess what? It's time to go to New York for Fashion Week. Yes, it's gonna be exhausting and grueling and oh so fun. Unfortunately, the weather is supposed to suck, which is totally gonna rain on my fashion parade, but that's okay because I'm prepared with amazing pieces that will easily transition. Hold on, I'm getting a text. Ooh, because uh, I'm transitioning with um, easy pieces from summer into fall with like summer sweaters, lightweight corduroy, some wax denim. Anyways, do you want to see what I'm going to pack? Yeah? All right, well, here. It's all like right here. Yeah, that's it. So first of all, the number one thing that you need when traveling with like a massive amount of clothes like I am is a rolling duffel bag. I promise you, you'll fit so much more in a soft bag than you will like a hard top bag. I know hard rollies are like super popular, but I find when I use those that my clothes end up getting super wrinkled because I have to fold them so small. Whereas in a big duffel, I can not really have to fold them very much at all. I also will wrap things in plastic so that they don't wrinkle. And um, I don't like buy plastic. I just reuse stuff from dry cleaners or that I buy from, or get when I go shopping. So um, don't buy plastic to wrap your clothes in, but definitely reuse it and you'll find that when you travel, you won't have any wrinkled clothes. So without further ado, wanna see some pants? I love my R13 denims. You know, I mentioned them in my last vlog, but of course now you get to see them. They're such a great wash. They're skinny slouch, meaning they are tapered and they're a little bit slouchy in the crotchal butt thigh region and then tighter around the leg, which is great with a kitten heel and cute cardigan, which is absolutely what I'll be wearing them with. I also um, love these new jeans I got just in time for Fashion Week from Habitual. You know I'm obsessed with them, but these red ones, hello, amazing. The painted zipper, oh, ah. It just makes me so happy. It's like a painted zipper, red, the same red as the jean. So gorgeous, so gorgeous. Can't wait to wear them. Um, I'm gonna be styling them with a pair of silver shoes. You know those ones that I showed you a couple weeks ago? The silver Alberta Ferretti's in that Line Decker vlog? Go look them up, it's amazing, they're gorgeous. So to go with all these pants, I'm packing a whole bunch of summer sweaters. I feel like summer sweaters are the perfect way to transition summer to fall. Uh, you probably saw that in my transition tips a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I found these from Thayskin's Theory and Rag and & Bone. Uh, this one from Minden Chan actually has a cashmere blend in it, but it's super lightweight and I feel will be beautiful come fashion week. I also think that it's important to pack camisoles and a whole bunch of tanks so if it is a little hot between shows you can take off your sweater and just throw it around your shoulders or on your waist or you know whatever it takes to get you cooler. Um, I also want to show you my Isabel Morant pants. I'm so excited about them. I'm like so excited about them. I can't even tell you. They are corduroy, like a super lightweight corduroy. So it has that like fall meets summer feel. And um, I love the snake skin. They're so cool. And they're going to be put with a fun blazer and a t-shirt. But I could also pop it with that Thay Skins Theory sweater if I want to wear them again. And since I'm packing light because my doctor told me I had to pack light because of my busted up wrist. You better believe that I'm going to be duplicating a lot of what I'm wearing. So that's about that. I wanted to also share with you some beauty products because if I don't edit my beauty products, I will literally bring my entire bathroom, which would be an entire separate suitcase. So instead, of course I have to go to extremes and Aries, I only pack like five things. So I wanted to show you the five things. I think it's like seven. I think I was exaggerating. I'm all about the Makeup Forever HD foundation, but for me, it's too drying. I need something more moisturizing, so I use the Ultimate Lift. I also am obsessed from Makeup Forever with Uplight. It's this really pretty shade. I think it's number 12, and um, it just gives you that glow. I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you can kind of see, like in here, in here. Hopefully it looks pretty. You can kind of see I'm wearing it in here just a little bit. Um, I like doing a little bit heavier application later on and they'll do like a little bit on the tip and a little bit up here and kind of define your lip a little bit. It's really pretty. And then um, I got some new blush for MAC, which I am so in love with. It's called Star Wonder and it's so pretty. It has just the right amount of berry mixed with the gold 
and for my yellow skin that turns like every blush orange it's like perfect um, so definitely doing foundation and blush, no brainer. Then I'm gonna be lining my eyes with Makeup Forever's 2L. It's a waterproof um, eyeliner, so it lasts all day. And then I'm going to be sweeping, depending on the outfit, either a copper shadow from Duop, which is super pretty, all over my lid, or if I don't wanna have the shimmer, it's gonna be for Motives this color called In The Buff. It's like a coffee color. It's really pretty, like a latte, I should say, like a milked down coffee. Obviously a coat of mascara. I love L'Oreal's Voluminous. It's just my favorite and it doesn't hurt my eyes. And then for lips, I wanna go dark red or berry. So um, I have a color that's super old from MAC and it's called um, Sinister and I love it, it's so pretty. And then I'm actually gonna line my lips with a red underneath so that it has that beautiful contrast. And then I'm also gonna bring my favorite red lipstick from Clarins, which is um, a beautiful rouge that's like perfect for my yellow skinned tone. And um, so I'll play with those two colored lips, but I'll usually keep the eyes and the cheeks the same. So that's my look for fashion week. Do you like? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if there's anything you want to see in particular in New York, will you leave a comment and let me know? I'll be going to a couple shows, a whole bunch of meetings. I'll obviously be doing some shopping, um, seeing some friends. I'm really looking forward to it. But if there's anything in particular you want to see, I will do my best to go grab it. Um, I'm not going to do the whole shebang like I did last season because nobody really seemed to like it. Funny. I love it. I love showing you guys my life. So if you want to see more of it, Definitely let me know, hit thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and I'll let you know how much I love you too. I love you, smooches, Mwah. bye.